Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Got a good one for you today. I'm uh, going to get into Janabek versus Andre Mikhailovich. These are not going to be easy names to say, but I got to watch the tape. And I like both of these fighters. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odd makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money uh, betting on, consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. So join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that little ticket below. Just $5 a month it gets you all the updated props. It gets you as the bookie anything. Uh, it gets ask the bookie anything. You can request a video. It gets you the absolute best gambling advice in the known universe. Uh, for just five dollars a month, uh, we've hit what is it now? Nine out of ten locks over the last eight weeks. Uh, two to weeks because I'm so generous. If you're my Patreon, I gave you two locks in a week, both times, all t- uh, both locks hit. So I've hit nine out of my last ten locks. It's all up there. You can join the Patreon, you can see it. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, y'all, let's get into today's show. Jana Beck, good movement, strong southpaw. He's the real deal. This is a pound-for-pound type level talent to me. I I really think that. He hasn't had the best competition. He's not really in the best weight class right now. Middleweight's not really murderer's row. But this guy is a league, a class unto himself in that division. Sits down on his shots throughout. Strong, strong middleweight. Good movement. He's got that little jitter to him where he doesn't really sit in front of you. Super sharp, super accurate with his counter shots. He's a really good counter puncher. Good power. And he and he puts he's patient with his power. He doesn't rush it. He's patient and he gets a lot of knockouts. He's patient with his shots. He sets things up well. He picks his shots extremely well. He's a, he's, a, he's an excellent finisher, too. This is a guy that doesn't waste a lot. He's a big hitter who believes in his power, and he sets it up and picks his spots really well. He's patient with his jab. He's calm. He's in control. He's got a really educated jab. And that jab is, like, thunderous. Like, that jab backs you up and backs you up. And I, I think that's going to play a major role in this fight. He's strong. And like, he's, just, he's got a denting kind of power where he can get you to show up where you don't want to throw anymore. And then he can kind of pull the shots on. Great timing on his counter shots. He's, a, he's an excellent counter puncher with good pop. He stays on you. He backs you up. He breaks you. There's a little bit of better BF to him. It's not a great analogy, but there's a little bit of that to him. Uh, he, he, he deals with your, your – he dents you with every power shot, and he can hold up to your shot. Now, he hasn't – Faced that many huge hitters yet, but he holds up to power well. He has a good chin. He's not the easiest target to hit for someone who's in front of you. This is a top shelf fighter. This is a guy with pound for pound kind of. He's got to fight better guys, right? We can't put him on that pound for pound list until he beats better guys, but that's the kind of ability that he has. He could be on that list if he beats the right opponents. Uh, Mikhailovich. On the other side, I like this fighter. He's a very good fighter. I just don't think he's quite at that level. There's levels to this. I like Mickey Elevich. I think he's a quality fighter. I think he's a very good fighter. I just think he's a, a, a little level below. Nice jab. Gets in and out very well. He's got that Russian in and out style. He's got it down pretty well. Um, he tries to fight in the pocket and it likes to fight in the pocket in the mid range. where he likes to be. Get in, get out, get in, get out. Uh, front foot guy, doesn't he's got doesn't have great power or speed. He's got decent power. He's not slow, but he's not a fast fighter or a big hitter. He's a decent fighter who has a little bit of everything. He's kind of he's got good skills on the inside. Come forward a little bit straight in, straight out. I'd like to see a little bit uh, more angles, work his angles a little more. But he's got a little shoulder roll. Like he's a good fighter. Whoever taught him how to fight, he's originally from Russia. Whoever taught him how to fight. Taught him well. I don't think he poses a ton of uh, Janabex because his his natural gifts and talents aren't that of Janabex. Uh, but he's a good fighter. 
Like he's a fringe contender type of guy who's not going to beat a world champion, a very good world champion. He commits to his power shots. Sits down, fires hard shots. There's a lot to like about him. I just I think this is a step too far. Throws nice clean shots. He knows what he's doing inside the ring. He hasn't fought great competition. Like I said, he can slip and slide away from your shots a little bit. You know, he's got a little uh a little slipperiness to him, a little slickness to him. He's got a little soldier roll. Finally, he's a basic, straightforward fighter. Uh who likes to who likes in the mid range? Who likes to be off the front foot? You got good, not great power, and he's you know that Russian style, that in and out style. He's got it down, right? He just doesn't have any stu- stupendous next level gifts, right? But he's a good fighter, and I think he just comes up a little bit short in a fight like this uh, with with superior firepower. I think minus sixteen hundred is really wide. I don't love this. Um, and there's no props on this either. I probably like this to go the distance. I probably like John Vick by decision. Um, but join the Patreon, five dollars a month. Come over to the Patreon. Let's take a look at this when the props drop. I would put one and a half times in this. I'm confident John Beck wins, but even at that, a hundred dollar bet only makes you ten dollars. So the odds on this aren't great. This is probably something you want to stay away from on a standalone bet. Uh, you can use it for your parlay, even though it's, I mean, hopefully the odds on this come down. There's not a lot of action this week, and this is not a great fight to bet on. Uh, you know, Jenna Beck's going to win. He can bring down your parlay a little bit, but at minus 1,600, it's much too wide. He is going to win. Mikhailovich is, is better than he's getting credit for. You know, if, if I was making this book, I'd have Jenna Beck at minus 11, maybe minus 1,200, not 16. I have uh, Mikhailovich at plus 550, something like that, not plus seven. This is the odds are a little too wide, and it's gonna keep people off of it, right? Like, um, yeah, so is not gonna win. It's like, so the plus 750 is tempting, but he's not gonna win. He may make the fight competitive, but I can't see him winning. Um, I think this is gonna sucker people into betting Mikhailovich. I'd really do a plus 750 because if you watch Tabor, he's a good fighter, just he's, he's not quite at that level. He hasn't fought the guys. Janet Beck has. Just going to come up a little short in, in what I think is going to be a really, really good fight. So that's that's what we're looking at. Oh, let me, I didn't show you guys the book. This is what I'm looking at. Her else, uh, one and a half times bet is going to make you 10 bucks. I'm minus 1,600. Not the best odds in the world. I like this thing to probably go the distance. I, I do want to look at that. I think Miguel is, is, is a good fighter, and he can and take this thing distance. But I want to see the line on that. I want to see the odds on that before I advise that. So come over, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also on the ticket below. Uh, well, that's a that's a review. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, guys. Please smash the like button on your way out. It is September 30th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.